Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. White man forgets that after all, the red man was the original owner of that valuable piece of real estate known as America. So let's give the real American his due. He was strong, courageous, long-suffering, and much wrong. This land was once site to a bloody massacre. It was the last battle to take place in California between the Paiute Indians and white farmers. It all started in 1867 when a group of Indians burned a farmer's sawmill. They also destroyed nearby cabins and injured two loggers. Several Indians were killed. What followed was a 32-day ordeal to track down and capture the Paiutes through the mountains. What happened shortly after became the battle at Chimney Rock. So we are here at the haunted ranch house that sits not too far away from Chimney Rock where the massacre took place. So we're going to investigate this place. It's pretty creepy. We're already getting a bit of a creepy vibe about it. I've got Jeremy here. Uh, JDM Haunted Las Vegas. Um, we pulled up and we started hearing some noises outside so we're a little hesitant. We're going to try to communicate with the spirits of uh, Grizzly Bill who led white men into the mountain to hunt down the Paiute Indians which led to the Chimney Rock Massacre of 1867. It was the last battle between white man and the Paiute tribe. So let's go and check this place out guys already getting a crazy vibe so we're going to try to communicate with the spirit of grizzly bill who's seen here quite often chimney rock is about a mile away from this location there has been apparitions seen jeremy of paiute indians come and go really what was that they killed me they killed you where at Grizzly Bill, are you still attached to this building? The locals have seen you quite often. Are there any other spirits? He lived to quite an old age, Jeremy. This guy was a bit of a prick. Uh, the Paiutes, this was their land. Farm. It, oh, it corrected you for a farm? It said farm. Is anybody attached to this particular location? I'm not getting no hits. This is a pretty creepy location though, isn't it? Yeah, it was. It is in the middle of nowhere, by the way. Lucerne Valley. As they drove past this dirt road, there's a dirt road just sure goes hit. down there. Yeah, they see um, a man coming out of this place. Really? In and out of the buildings. I wonder if that had to be like... Period clothing. Late night. Period clothing. You need spirits want to come play? You have a device that he can use. We have a REM pod set over there as well. Another thing as well is they have seen these native Indians on this land and they've heard chanting quite often. This whole land is actually, the soil is tainted by the blood of the Paiutes. We first turned the camera on, we heard like laughter. Yeah. It, it sounded like that sort of chant that they would do. It's a very yeah, high pitched laugh. Where they go? <laughs> yeah, it did. It did. Yeah. That's spot on. That's a hundred. Whoa. I just got chills. <laughs> we have something that we'd like to give you as well. We bought a um, object for you because we do come in peace. All right, guys, I brought you this knife and you can take it as a peace offering. All right, you can hunt with it, but I bring you peace and hopefully this will be beneficial to you. We're standing in this haunted farmhouse. Wow, that's crazy. Knock on the wood or something. Let us know you're here. Yeah, you can make a noise, throw a rock at the building or something. We'd like to hear you chant. Why don't you give us one of your chants? We've got you a knife you can use. And we're here offering peace and 
love. Knock on the wood. Knock on the wood if you want. Can you do that? On the hut. We're in the dark here for you. We're very vulnerable. Yeah. I know it's windy out, but try to, try to use as much energy as you can to let us know that you're still attached. I'm not. How many men did you lead in the Battle of Chimney Rock? Nine. You went up the mountains in search of these Paiutes and you massacred them. You white farmers that were here, just over a mill getting burnt down. Grizzly Bill? Why were you nicknamed Grizzly Bill? Where are you buried? He's actually buried in the same county, really? in the Pioneer Cemetery. We don't know much about the history of the people that lived in this building as well. There could have been something that happened in here that we don't even know about. Yeah. And we don't know when this became abandoned as well. We couldn't find any information on this location. Say that again? You want to give us a sign that you're You hate them? Hate who? You hate us? Why did you hate the Indians? What did they do to you? Just because, just because someone burnt a sawmill. Give us a sign that you're here. How about the Indian Indians call? Yeah, we'd love to. We'd love that chant. We're gonna go in the basement. You can follow us down to the basement if you want. We're gonna go underneath. Now you can come into the house if you want. Jeremy's gonna lead the way. He's got the torch. I got the camera. Alright, take a Christmas party down here. It stinks. It's stinky it's a little hard to walk down here. Want to give us a sign that you're here? Spiders and stuff everywhere here. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy and it stinks. Who's down here? Shit. Want to give us, give us a sign? Yeah, knock. You can bang. It's so hot down here. Sound like there's a knock. Hello? Is this where you want us? You're welcome to do whatever you want upstairs. Are there any Paiute Indians here? All right, so we're in the basement and it's pitch black. We're waiting for you to make the sound of chanting or some sort of tribal sound. Imagine if we heard a gunfire or something like that. We probably Ooh, shit our pants. That would be crazy. Yeah, you think back in the days there was that was going on all the time here. So we brought you the peace offering. We're here in peace. Hear it? Hear it? It sounded like a drum. Hear it? That one I did. Yep. Hear it? What spirit's here? We're back upstairs. We gave you a time and chance to get up here and talk and communicate. Yeah, we got had we had to get very dirty for you down there. I just got the goosebumps. Really? Yeah, like all through my face. Like something just touched me like cold cold hands. Any spirit sound in here? Wanna give us a sign? Pick up a rock and throw it like that. Yeah, you can throw a rock, make a noise. Scare the shit out of us that you don't want us here. Yeah, do whatever you can. You guys are pretty fearsome back in the days. We're giving them permission to scare us. Can you do that again? Do that again. It sounded like drums. It did. I mean, I don't know if I... It's just my imagination playing or what, but... Throw something around. Scare us that you don't want us here. 
We're giving a permission. Yes, we are giving you permission. What was that? Sound like it said girl. Bird. What is my name? I heard that. I don't know what it. It must be something banging. Shh. Right here. Dude, I keep hearing. Yeah, and it sounds like footsteps. I'm frozen. They're okay. drums, they're drums. Yeah, I can hear it now. Cause that was that was creepy when the Indians did that call. Yeah, it's so damn windy. <sighs> Who's playing drums? Are you letting us know you're here by hitting the drums? How about the chant? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on. I don't know how to do it. Don't sound like drums, man. And it wasn't the damn spirit box. It sounded like it was coming from the distance outside. I really hope that that picked up in this mic. Give us a sign that you're here. It's so windy outside, if I were to go out there, the, the audio would be disrupted big time. Alright, so it's absolutely quiet now. Want to give us an Indian call? Let us know you're here. Or if it's Grizzly Bill. I'm on the Indian side. You want to give us a sign? <gasps> fucking drums. That's fucking drums. That shit's drums. It was an Indian sound with the drums. Yeah, but there's got to be people playing in the house or something over there. It has to be. I don't think so because the houses are like further. It's got to be. It sounds like it's coming from the distance. Yeah, but Can you I... hear it? Shh. That's coming. That's someone's playing that. Someone must be playing drums over in the distance. That's all I can think. Is there anybody out here? Can you go like this? Like you did earlier? Dude. That was crazy. That was two times. Yeah. Two time calls. Well, we ran out of that house. I mean, I heard drums. And then we heard that. Making sounds outside. Sounded like drums. Footsteps. It sound, yep. Yeah. There's definitely something going on outside. I yeah. think outside is where the activity is because yeah. that's the grounds in which they battled. It makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's almost like a bit of a safe haven. Yeah. And when we when we get. Oh, whoa. What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? I heard that. Yep. Before it almost sounded like. Foot, like. Yep. But like it, al it also almost sounded like. Those noises outside we heard were mm -hmm. like that was them making their noises. Yeah, letting us know they're coming. Because they had like a war chant. I mean, we were going to do the Estes method in the basement, but you got us kind of a little bit freaked out now. You heard that? I don't know what the hell that was. It went. Yeah, there's a lot of noise going on, but you got to remember as well there's, there's wind. Yeah. But uh, that definitely isn't Grizzly Bill. I think he's. He's moved on. I yeah, think I think is, he went to the other side. I think this is residual and it's on the fields. Yeah, on the fields with the Indians. Yeah. Are you in there? Give us one big old sign like this that you could do. You're throwing a rock. Throw something like that. Yep, you're throwing rocks. We've heard the sound of drums. Indian calls two times. Almost like 
they were approaching the building. Well, it sounded like they were approaching the building and they were making their tribal call and it was a really high pitched noise and it wasn't dogs. I can tell the difference between dogs, but it sounded like something that they would do to in intimidate their enemy. That's what it sounded like. It sounded like a, a high pitched noise, but they were approaching the building and we ran to the car. So we've packed up as much as we can um, because we don't want whatever the hell's out there coming in and we are shooken up big time. You're shaking up as well? Yeah. It's crazy. I got yeah. I don't normally run out of places like this, but this is a is a crazy active location and uh, it, it's around us. It's not the house. Are you in here? Oh man, I just got the chills like something went through my body. Yeah, we've dimmed a little, the lights a little bit for you. I feel like throwing up now. Too much energy. I can feel it. Yeah. Like right here, too much this, energy. This is their land, man. Yeah, my goosebumps, my hairs are sticking up on my arms. Yeah. You can see all that. Give us a sign that you don't want us here. You already gave us two signs that you don't want us here. Give us one more and we get off of your land. We don't mean any harm or disrespect you. We brought you a gift that you guys could use. Because we're on your side. This place is getting hairier and hairier, man. Yeah. As the night goes on. Show me that you're here like you just did. Go like this to the tree branch. Break it. Oh, I feel sick right there. Hurry up. I'm hearing bells right there. I'm not kidding, I'm hearing bells. I'm hearing bells like right by you, bro. And I'm hearing you, bro. There's your offering. You can stick it up your ass because to be honest with you, I ain't gonna bury it. You can have it. That was crazy, man. Yeah, the Indian <laughs> calls, the bell, the drums. Yeah, and then it's just like, there's so many sounds around us here. It's just become more and more intense. When we were approached by whatever the hell they were, yeah. it sounded like they were ready to the war chant. Yeah. It sounded like they were coming into battle and the drums and uh, we're freaking out. We're kind of freaking out. So yeah, it was uh, one hell of a ride. Yes, I hope you enjoyed that sort of video here at the farmhouse in Lucerne Valley. I normally wouldn't do an outro from inside the vehicle, but with what was going on in there, I should say around the building, the noises, the chanting, the drums, I had to get the fuck out of there. I'm sorry. I normally don't run like that. We we both bailed it. So maybe for 100 likes, we'll come back here. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for further updates, please. And we don't know where we're going to be next, but you'll find out soon. Cheers, dingoes.